morning everybody happy sunday it's sunday when i'm filming this and it's sunday when you're watching this how funny um i'm tired everybody i'm tired <sighs> had a slightly late night last night not late late but late for me like half nine <laughs> which is late for me because no matter what time I go to bed, my body clock will wake up between five and six, regardless of what time I go to bed. So I'm tired. I was awake at like five and I thought, oh my God, no, I managed to go back to sleep. And then I was awake at six and I couldn't go back to sleep. Um, I do touch up on, I do touch up upon in this video, I don't know if that made sense, what's going on with us as a family at the moment. Um, and um, it's very up and down. It's been good. Sorry about that. George was coming upstairs and I didn't tell him I was filming. Um, yeah, it's very up and down. It's been good and it's been bad and it's just, just, it's been a, it's been a lot, but it's fine because you, everybody has to deal with these things in life and you just crack on. So yes. Anyway, um, this is my Sunday routine that I thought I'd film for you all. Now it's ever so slightly different to a normal, typical Sunday routine because at the moment George and I are helping my aunt and uncle uh, put up a new fence and get every, all the preparations ready for a new shed they're getting in the garden. It's a lot of work for two people to do, hence why George and I are going over every Sunday at the moment to give them a hand and help them with things. So yeah, we are going over this morning it's currently half past eight. We've already had our Ocado delivery. So I'm gonna do a food haul shortly. But the first thing that I do, once the Ocado shop has been delivered and I'm kind of dressed, so to speak, I just go around the house and you're gonna be seeing clips of what I do every Sunday. I do this every Sunday. But I just go around the house and give the house like a bit of a freshen up, so to speak. So I empty all the bins upstairs and downstairs if they downstairs needs emptying. I change the bath mat, I change the bath towels, I just give everything a bit of a spruce up. I don't do a full clean on a Sunday at present because I just, we, we just don't, I don't have the energy to do it right now. So I just get everything neat and freshened up. So fresh, like I said, fresh towels, fresh bath mat, empty all the bins, give everything a general tidy up and just a bit of a pick me up. And then I usually put a wash load on so the washing basket is completely empty on a Sunday because that is so, so nice. And just, yeah, give the kitchen a bit of a tidy up and a once over, change the bath towel in the downstairs bathroom and I just give the bath downstairs bathroom a bit of a clean because that's what guests, the bathroom that usually guests use. So I make sure that is all nice and clean and just give the cushions in the front room a bit of a zhuzh up and just to make things fresh ready for the week ahead so that is the cleaning side of things um that i do on a sunday um but i especially on a sunday it's a bit i do hoover as well so i do just hoover the stairs and upstairs but i do very light cleaning because obviously we're helping my aunt and uncle and also i sometimes clean my father-in-law's house on a sunday as well so I clean my house, do it throughout the week and that's how I keep on top of everything and then I do a full deep clean once a month with my monthly reset so you'll see that sh um, in, the ne in the month to come in the end of January. So yeah that's kind of what I do like to keep my house tidy and prepare it for the week ahead on a Sunday and um, I really hope you enjoyed that little bit of segment but now we're going to head downstairs and we're going to go through this week's grocery haul and then I'm going to get some breakfast because I'm hungry so let's go downstairs and go through the food shop just quickly I did forget to mention that I usually wash the bedding on a Sunday but that clip that you'll have just seen or you'll be seeing of me sorting the bedding out I actually filmed the other day but I am including it in this video because I love having a fresh bed on a Sunday and if we weren't going over to my aunt and uncles to help them or we weren't busy in some other way the bedding would be washed as well so I just wanted to add that in
Okay, and here is all the groceries. Um, forgot I added this. Um, I've already I've got a I've got one of these upstairs. So, um, I'll save this. I've got an extra one. <laughs> Hess pear mousse. So bagel thins this week for breakfast. I'm having avocados and eggs on bagel thins, and then George has got a pack too. Then for lunches this week, I'm actually going to do a vegetable curry inspired by the curry I had at um, the sauna place that I go to. Chickpeas need to get them out. Um, and it was just so delicious. So I wanted to recreate that. So I've got some onions, carrots and courgettes and sweet potato, chickpeas um, to go into this curry with spinach. So we're just going to see how that goes. We've got enough oranges to last us a lifetime, but I juice oranges and George eats them. So that's that. We've got some flatbreads. That's for the, um, the curry that I'm going to have. Um, then for dinners, I'm having, I got these sweet chilli and lime chicken breasts. Um, see how many there's in there. I'm not too sure how much is in there. But that's going to be for dinners this week with a mango salad. Do you know? Arthi. Arthi. Oh, whatever. It'll get washed up, whatever he's licking. Anyway, so we're going to have spinach with the salad as well. So um, this will keep us going for that too. George's bacon and butter. Oh, and then I got, well, no, I didn't get conned. But <laughs> this girl I follow on Instagram called Becky. She actually has a YouTube channel as well, which I'll link below. Um, She bought some of these and put it on her Instagram. And I thought, oh my God, I need them in my life. Not that I need them because I've already got brown sugar, but when the brown sugar runs out, I just needed these. We've got eggs, tomatoes for to go with my chicken salad, coffee because coffee. Um, I'm also trying to switch up my cleaning products to more non-toxic cleaning brands. So I got this fabric softener because my fabric softener is due to run out shortly. So. I got this as well, so I'm slowly incorporating non-toxic cleaning products into my home. Two kombuchas, because I love them, and these are really good actually. It's two for £4.50, which I didn't think was that bad at all, because if you buy the little cans, sometimes they're about £2.50, three quid, so I thought that was really good. Coconut milk and chopped tomatoes for the curry, chickpeas I already had, honey, and some smoked paprika, and this is... The grocery haul for this week. Arthi is just being a pest, as always. Arth, if you get poorly and you need to go to the vet, you're going on your own. <laughs> you're so naughty. You need to stop. Oh, Arthi. I mean, yes, I know, granted, we shouldn't just have it out, but, oh, you know... It all gets washed up in a very hot washing-up bowl. So, yes, and who, you know, just... He's a cat. They kind of do whatever they want, don't you? Arthi? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put everything away, give the kitchen a bit of a tidy up and then make some breakfast. Hello everyone. So I've just got back um, from helping my aunt and uncle out with George with putting up their new fence and it's now done and it looks incredible. Um, they are having a new shed as well. So next week we are going to be doing concreting. So yeah, for the for the time being if every Sunday George and I are going over to just give them a hand because it's just so much work it's more work than two people can manage so the more the merrier really and uh, yeah so what I need to do now is plan the week in my bullet journal and then go through that so I'm going to go through that now do a little time lapse of sh filming that for you all and we'll be back once I've planned my week
Hello, so as you'll have just seen, we have filled and completed out the bullet journal for next week and I have done my house love or like house chores section and my creative slash self care part. Obviously sometimes I don't stick to these. Um, what we've been going through as a family at the moment, I haven't been able to stick to some of the things on um, last week's list. Um, but things are slowly getting better in that front. I think it's just going to be gradual and slow, but yeah, things are getting better, which is really, really good. Aren't they? <laughs> so, I also, on a Sunday, I set myself weekly goals, just in this corner, just here. So last week, we had to have one whole day at home to organise and clean the pantry, to go through my finances and organise my cash stuffing system again, which I have ticked all of those off. I have done all of that, which is really, really great. So now it's time to create some new goals for the week. Now, when I say goals for the week, they're just nice, light-hearted, you know, relatively achievable goals. Um, things that I probably want to get done and things that I need to get done. And some of those needs are not necessarily house jobs, doing X, Y and Z. Some of those needs are actually needs for myself. So to have a rest day or things like that. So what I do is I get my pen, get my pen and I have a look at the week and see what I'm doing. So this week, I've got the dentist on Wednesday, followed by new nails. Oh my gosh, look at my nails, everybody. Look at that nail, look at that nail. They're just, oh, I got really blurry. They're really just awful, my nails are awful. So I'm really looking forward to getting my nails done. Thursday, I've got a sauna session booked and I'm having my hair trimmed. Um, and then I'm working, visiting. So basically, my grandmother is in hospital. That's kind of what's going on, but it's um, slowly slowly getting better I'm not going to elaborate on that that's all I'm going to say on it so I visit her as often as I can um, I usually go after work and I go and see her then so I try to see her at least two if not three times a week um, yeah but I, do, I also need to just be careful and not get myself too tired because today I am very tired and I've been really busy this week but it's fine. So for my goals this week, I want to have a true self-care day. And I think that's probably going to happen on Wednesday, even though I have the dentist in the morning and then I'm having my nails. But when I've had my nails done, I'm just going to come home. I'm just going to, that's going to be my self-care week. So I'm going to, maybe I'll grab a coffee or something. Okay, so they are going to be this week's goals. Have a self-care day. Visit Nana at least twice while she's in hospital. Obviously I'll visit her when she's back, back at home, of course, but um, it won't be as frequent as what I have been because it, I can't after work it will take me a bit longer to get home and if I've had quite a stressful day sometimes I just need to come home but I do see my aunt like at least twice if not three times a week so, well so definitely twice a week sometimes so I'll see be able to see her then so that's really cute um and then so I'll visit Nana I'll visit her on Monday then I'll go and visit her on Thursday because she will like to see my new hair because she's so adorable um, and I may even go visit her on Sunday with my aunt so yeah so that'll be really cute then the next goal for the week is to put my phone away at 6 p.m. now this is going to be ch a challenge because basically I put everybody else first a lot of the time and not I don't I'm not blowing my own trumpet and I don't want like oh you're such a saint blah 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 it's it's a blessing and a curse 
because I don't put myself first and I feel guilty and I feel like I, I worry about other people and I worry about them and I just kind of think oh no no I can rest later I can rest later I can rest later and when I do get to rest I've burnt myself out my fatigue is really bad and I've only got myself to blame so by putting my phone away at 6 30 p.m I if people message me then I'll just get it the following day and I've been really good in the morning and putting my not touching like not really looking at my phone much but I you know which is really good but in the evening especially if I've had excuse me, a hectic day at work and I'm on my phone until at least half seven if not eight o'clock replying to messages and chatting to people and things like that um I need to stop doing that and I need to have the evenings unless I actually have something planned with someone or some or people I need to have my evenings where I actually just wind down and switch off so phone away at 6 p.m this week I'm going to really try really hard in fact I'm going to start tonight because it's the start of a new week so Sunday night phone away at 6 30 p.m Anyway, and then my final one is to stick to my meal plan, which will be absolutely easy. You've seen the um, grocery shop today, what, we've, what we're having for this week's meals. I've already made my curry. Um, I did that off camera though, because I, uh, we're, well, we've been helping my aunt and uncle today and I just didn't have time to film, to film it. But we've got eggs and avocado on a bagel thin for breakfast. For lunch, we've got vegetable curry with flatbread hay. Oh God homemade I'm tired homemade and for dinner we've got mexican chicken salad with mango and i've put pine nuts but i haven't got any pine nuts i've got um pecans and what are those nuts that look like heart walnuts that look like hearts walnuts got walnuts and some dark chocolate so yeah um i think that is really achievable really really good and i'm really really happy with all of those and yeah this is the planning part of my sunday yeah, routine i also what i also do quickly because i've only got one minute of my battery left and i so what i do do is i sit down with my phone and i go through my list in keep in my just my notes section of my phone so i have monday through to sunday and i basically just look at my bullet journal and then i write a list so i can take it off throughout the week um, so I sit down and I do that, but I'm not going to film that because that will take ages and um, I just want to do that in silence and not have to worry, think about my phone and stuff like that. And this is already 10 minutes long, this section of the video. So that is what I do uh, as well on a Sunday. I sit down and I plan my week ready for a brand fresh new week ahead. So yeah, let's go and have a bath. Hello, I'm back and I'm out of the bath. I've just tubbed up my lunches for the week. Um, I decided, because we were going out today, we weren't coming home till like two-ish, I decided to chuck everything into my slow cooker. Why I didn't think of that before, who knows, because it's just such a godsend and now I've got a delicious vegetable curry dal thing to take to work for lunch tomorrow and have a tea tonight so I'm so looking forward to it just something warming hearty absolutely delicious that's nourishing and nutritious there's literally I've got carrots sweet potato courgette uh, garlic onion 
ginger, chopped tomatoes, coconut milk, herbs and spices and it's delicious. So delicious. I'm going to tub myself, um, do myself some now. It's only quarter past four but I haven't really eaten a lot today so I'm pretty hungry so I'm going to have something to eat now. Uh, maybe I'll have a snack later, who knows? I don't know. So yes, so I'm going to dish myself up and enjoy that and just rest. I'm so tired everybody. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. So what I'm going to do is enjoy a delicious dinner and then come back with all of you because I've got to pack my bag and get everything ready for work tomorrow and get my work uniform out. Very similar to my evening routine. So I go through my bag. I'm taking my little e-bike tomorrow. So I've got to have a backpack that so I've got to do that and that's kind of then rolls into my evening routine really so yeah then I'm going to spend the evening with George can't decide whether to do my gel toenails or not I don't think I'm going to I think I'm too tired I'm just gonna watch a really cute film I think I think that's what I'm gonna do everything's ready for the week the house is tidy I've got lunches for the week, I've got dinners for the week, we've had our grocery sh shop delivered, I've got lovely fresh bedding, I've got lovely fresh pyjamas, more to the point, fresh pyjamas, and we are really all ready for a brand new week. The next thing I do on a Sunday is I get an early night for bed, especially since we've been helping my aunt and uncle, I always make sure I go to bed earlier on a Sunday, especially if I have work the next day. So, yes, I'll probably come back at the, you know, once I'm packing my bag and stuff and then I'll sign off the vlog. If it's been like here, there and everywhere and a bit rambly and a bit weird, I do apologise. Um, I'm really hoping I get back on, well, I will get back on track with my videos very soon. As you will know, we've just got a lot going on at the moment and yeah, I'm just not quite with it at the moment but it will get better. So with that, let's dish up some dinner because I'm hungry. Sunday routine is coming to an end. <laughs> it is just coming up to eight o'clock now and I will be going to bed, getting ready, getting an early night. We've got an early start tomorrow. So an early night and I'm gonna yawn. An early night and everything's ready. My hair is all dry and washed and I did a little like spa treatment. I did um my 
face steamer which is so nice and so relaxing got it for christmas love it and i also tinted my eyebrows so basically i'm all ready for the week ahead i just wanted to sign off in this video and to say that thank you so much for all of your support in the last few weeks and your ongoing support on my youtube channel i really really appreciate it and it really does mean the world to me and leave me any comments down below if you are enjoying these videos and my ideas that I'm putting out there or if you would prefer to see typical homemaking day in the life videos which I know a lot of you love so much if you prefer those videos then I will just happily keep filming them but I would love to know your input and if there are any specific videos that you wish to see but if you are just enjoying the happy homemaker life as a homemaker vlogs that I film every week then do let me know because I will go back just to filming those and doing grocery hauls and pottering about my day and in my home and what I eat and all that sort of stuff I'd be really really interested to know so thank you so much for watching this video remember to give it a thumbs up if you did like it if you are new and this is the first video that you're seeing i would really appreciate if you would subscribe i'd love to grow this channel and this community and develop it further but for now i'm going to bed and i'll see you all in next week's video bye